this is how to use Excel 2007 to plot a graph of several means um, and to apply 95% uh, confidence limit error bars to those means individually. First of all, take your data. There it is. I've got three columns A, B, and C. Highlight that. Go to data analysis. You might have to enable this from the um, uh, the uh, Excel options um, section. Click on that, and we get this uh, box here, and we've got various statistical tests. Uh, but among that is this dis descriptive statistics. So click that, and we'll get this dialog box. And then say uh, if your labels are in the first row of the data, as mine are, it's my A, B, and C. I click that, and then I tell it where the data is. Just highlight it. There it is. So that's there now. That those cells are in that box there to tell it which which one to do the calculations on. Then we tell it where we want to put our output, where we want it printed. And uh, so click on that, and then click in the output box. Uh, we might as well have it um, here. And uh, then tell it what you want. We want uh, summary statistics. That's the mean, standard deviation, and so on. We want a confidence level for the mean. Very often that will be 95%. Um, and uh, you can put what you want in there, 99% or whatever you want, but 95% is what we're going to have. Click on that and you get all your stats like that. And these are the means here. The mean for A is that one, the mean for B is that one, and the mean for C is that one. All the other, every descriptive statistic you can think of is there. And uh, the confidence limits for 95% confidence are here. So that's A, B, and C. Okay, now, first of all, we plot our graph. So highlight the means we want. Click the first one, click Control, click the second one, click Control, click the third one. And then go to Insert. And go to Bar Chart, uh, sorry, uh, Column Chart. Click on it. And now we've got our means plotted instantly by the machine. Now, the trick, that's the hard trick I found anyway, was to get um, the um, error bars applied to these as individual uh, bars. And the way you do it is like this. First of all, you click on the chart. Chart area. Yeah. Then go to layout. And you'll find at the end of layout this little box error bars. Lots of options. Take this one, more error bars options, and then you get a choice of how you want them to look. I want them to look conventional, on either side of the mean, and with a cap on the end. And uh, they're not fixed values, I want to specify the values. So I go to custom, move this BPM out of the way. And we'll move the Let's put it in there. And uh, specify value. And then, now this is the bit that the Excel help system doesn't seem to show you. You've got uh, your positive and, and uh, uh, above the mean um, errors and below the mean errors, positive and negative. All you do is you take your confidence limits, and as I said, these are 95% confidence. And the first one here is for um, A, and that was 0.382, rounding up. You write it in, 0.382. Put a comma next, and then put the next one in. It's this one, 0.498. And then put another comma. And then put the next one in. And that's 7.203. Rounding up, 7.203. Then you do the same for the negative errors because you'll want the same uh, error bar on the other side of the mean. Highlight that so that you, when you type it out, it gets rid of it, and do the same thing. Put the, uh, the, the each uh, each uh, error in. So the first one is 0.382, comma. The next one is 0.498, comma, and then finally uh, 7.203. Here we are. Click OK. And click close and click on the chart, and magic happens, and you get error bars, which are the actual values you put in, which um, took me a long time to learn how to do um, with the help of my G2 
genius Excel colleague, John. And uh, that's why I put this up. Hope it's of use to lots of people.